Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and today we're going to build the twin to the farm on my left, right, whichever side's by the sword. Uh, let me uh, let me unmute Discord here real quick and say hello, medic. Howdy, howdy. Rayast and Arcadius are out of town today, so they will not be able to join us, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we're going to build the twin to that pumpkin farm over there, and uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of terrain work here, and then uh, and then get that in place. That's the main objective for today, because uh, we, we need more ways to get emeralds out of those villagers that we have over there. Now, oh, you probably noticed, I, I got something nice. Do you, do you see those wings? Oh, yeah. That is because this past Saturday, Arcadius did a live stream, and the four of us all got on to uh, to go storm the end. And uh, it was a fun little adventure to go <laughs> find the fortress, which was not quite as far as I was expecting. Um, if I'm being completely honest here. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. A lot of fun. A few mishaps. If you haven't already, definitely go to Arcadius's Twitch page because he does not archive on YouTube. So that means if you didn't watch it live, you get about 90 days to go check it out. And uh, if you don't, oh well. I'll, I'll probably post some uh, clips from that maybe later this week or next week. Uh, I kind of forgot to get an episode out. Well, I didn't really forget to get an episode out. We uh, we finished the live stream Saturday, and we, we went to sit down and have a nice victory lunch. And uh, I don't know, there must have been something in the food. I, I felt awfully lethargic after that victory lunch. And... and yeah, not much else of any consequence happened after after that. I'm going to blame it on the victory lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta blame it on That's some. my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh, but I did get a couple of things done, and I'll show two of them here. And the other one I'm not going to show on stream because it takes so long to get over to Arcadius's witch farm that it's just, uh, it, it ain't worth it. Um, not for the time it's going to eat out of the stream, so I'll show that in the recorded episode. You'll notice we got some new yahoos up here in the iron farm, so that is back to working again. Still no clue why the original yahoos and zombie disappeared the first go-round, but uh, we should have that squared away this time. Let's make sure there's still three. Oh, there's one goal. And... There's still three of you guys over here. Yep. Okay, there we go. So I name tagged the villagers this time in the hopes that that would help them stick around. I also expanded out their little awning there. Even though there shouldn't be a reason why we would need it that far out. But on the off chance there was, we did. And I found a new zombie villager over there too. Uh, which is kind of cool. And I also made one small change to the sheep farm after replacing two sheep that died of mysterious causes. <laughs> after the stream, I came over here to get some wool, and we found the pink sheep and the white sheep were missing from their pen, and some cooked mutton over here in the collection chamber. Um, I have no idea what happened. All I can tell you is that Arcadius accidentally triggered a raid, and I'm wondering if one of the raiders hit him with a flaming arrow. Although, honestly, with the glass enclosure, I'm really not sure if or how that would have been possible. But they got replaced and in the redstone that goes on behind here. Um, I made one small change. I redid a little bit of the wiring for the second light. So you got the comparator coming off of this back hopper here. So when this hopper is full, it's going to power this redstone, which will power this wool, which this repeater will use to power this wool to power that dot to power that wool, to power that <laughs> repeater into the lamp, uh, as opposed to the way it was originally worked, all so that way I could fit on top of this wool, this redstone block. 
Because what the comparator is going to do is off of this hopper that everything feeds into is it's going to compare the signal from that hopper with the signal from that redstone block. And if the signal from the hopper is less than the signal from the block, it's not going to flash a redstone pulse out. Because you may have noticed that with the design the way it was before, every time a bit of wool fell through here, you'd get a second flash of redstone powering the dispenser. Now, it didn't wear away any of the durability. It was just one of those things that, for, for neatness sake, I don't, I don't like stuff firing that doesn't need to. Um, so to get rid of that second pulse, we got that comparator in there. So now, when that hopper is full, it will power this and that will lock the hopper so it'll still lock up when when the storage system is full when when everything's backed up to that last hopper it will turn the system off so the sheep will still sit there he'll still eat but it won't go powering the dispensers and firing and all that other fun stuff and trying to collect wool into a system that we can't fit oh. um, probably gonna have to do some shear replacements here soon some of these are looking a little worse for wear I don't know. We probably got at least another week the way they've been going. So that was the other thing that I did. I tried a couple other different designs in my testing world, but um, I realized that we had left uh, too little tolerance between each of the sheep farms, and I couldn't fit the other design, which was going to use a cauldron to uh, to provide a lower signal, so that way that hopper wouldn't have to be completely backed up for the system to shut off. But that required there to be a repeater where that redstone block is, and the redstone block to be over here, which would have caused all sorts of fun with the uh, <laughs> with the system next to it. So that was the quickest and the easiest way to get that done. So the system now um, is a little more efficient. Not efficient. Um, well, server friendly. Because the less redstone you have firing when it doesn't need to fire, the better the better life is for everybody truth yeah and i'm trying to be better about that sort of thing i'm trying to make sure that all the farms that i build this season have uh some sort of off switch either a manual off switch like the uh, pumpkin farm here so you know if we ever get to the point where we don't need this to crank out pumpkins you just flip that lever and all the pistons on the inside will extend out basically turning the farm off i'm going to do the same thing for the melon farm but um, the idea is I eventually do want uh, want to make sure that everything has some sort of an off switch, either a manual switch you get a flip to turn it on and off, or an automatic switch that turns everything off when it gets full. The preference is going to be for the automatic switches, because uh, I know what my memory's like, and I know what my server mate's memory's like. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, we're, we're totally absolutely professor over here, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and I totally admit that I am also that guy that kind of forgets. Oh, it's so nice to have shulker boxes again, too. Isn't it, though? Yes. I'm kind of glad we made that read. Yeah. Um, I don't need note blocks. I need chests. All right, so how do I get this? I've got one, two, three. Off to the side. Go one. Storage here. And we're going to need to extend this out. Are you going to sleep or do I need to? Oh, I'm in the nether. Oh. <laughs> no, go ahead and sleep. I'm sure it'll turn out just fine. Mm, I'll pass. I don't know, Minecraft, it certainly does look like nighttime. Sun's going down. <laughs> what do 
I feel like I'm in a Hulk movie. Sun's going down. No, that was the, um... That was the second Avengers movie? Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, that, that, that wasn't the Hulk. No. The Hulk's busy raging against IP rights and all that stuff. <laughs> Got to uh, put that on mute. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. <laughs> that was uh, just the uh, that was just the text telling me that Anon was live. <laughs> it's on that much of a delay. It is for me. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Um... All right. So disorganized. Yeah, Hopper's already made up. No, of course not. That'd be too much like uh, making sense. Uh, we'll call that enough. So I need four hoppers. glowstone for now when we get a chance to get some uh, sea lanterns I'd definitely rather put those in here um, just because that uh, that would uh, blend in better with the melons personally I like the sea lanterns much better for a lighting source anyways but that's just me I do most of the time. It it really depends. There's some builds where the the green doesn't quite doesn't quite work. Two, three, four, five, six, and then two more for that to turn around. I need some power drills, power drills. The recipe for power drills again. Oh my, okay. What am I missing? Oh, I need more gold. Um, well, it just so happens that I am working on a gold farm. I, I kind of like the the <laughs> that we got a couple of different starter farms going and a few things. Uh, I'll be happier when I get some of the industrial farms going. We can get some bigger, bigger projects. All right, so Oop, that's not what I want. That's what I want. six more gold bars for another set of powered rails. Unless we got some powered rails sitting around somewhere. Mm, not unless they're in the community center. Because I don't have any. Oh, there's two more powered rails. Um, Alright, let me see if I can figure out how to make this work anyway. I mean, I, I, we could probably get away with a little less powered rail. I'd just rather not. Eh. 
Yeah, that should do us okay. He says, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, um... That should keep those rails powered. That gets the levers out of the way. We're using the cobble so that way, so that way it looks intentional. I probably should have grabbed the wool now that I thought about it, but. All right, we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and to do the rails right now. Ah, we'll see if that works. See if I move that powered rail there. And that rail there. So that's going to turn around and we're going one, two, three, four, five, and six. There's room to turn around right there. Oh, oh. Are you running through a portal? No, I'm uh, fighting giant marshmallow. <laughs> Are you fighting the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man? Yeah, Stay Puff grew eight legs and it's floating around the nether. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. I know, this is a little excessive for the uh, build outline, but... Yeah, it's gonna get torn down. I wanna get a bigger one. Bigger farm going anyway. This is a less resource <laughs> efficient version of the one that Mumbo put together, basically. Uh, I'm going to need. Where's that power switch? The one block above. light. Why do I get the feeling I did this differently? Probably because I did. I feel like I did something wrong here. Oh well. We'll go with it. I think I can make it work. Regardless. Actually. be able to do that and get two more in. Okay. 
Yeah, I totally pulled something different the last time. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, that's what I'm I get for to, to, uh... That's what I get for trying to build from memory. Yeah, I'm having Why to keep muting my memory? mic. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought we talked about something about memory. Something like that, but I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> something like that, but you forgot. Yeah, I don't remember that being the joke. Come on, let me sleep. Hi, kitty. How many cats do we have ro roaming around here anyway? Quite a few. I, yeah, I, I get the feeling that we've got more than a <laughs> a more than marginal cat population floating around. Because you took what three of them for uh, for your base? Uh, I took two, and then one just happened to follow me. <laughs> it just happened to follow you home. Like, mm -hmm. oh, can I keep it? He followed me home. I mean, I guess it didn't help that. You know, I had a, a lead that was generously donated from a wandering trader. <laughs> uh. I mean, them guys are pretty, pretty nice. They just come in and then they give us leads and llamas and heads. Uh. I wonder if making that bigger is going to... That might cause problems. That might cause problems. Ah, oh, well. I'll try it out. What's the worst that could happen, right? Mmm. <laughs> That's some funny last words. Yeah, yeah. Hi, and welcome to Fixing Shoddily Built Redstone with an on Junior. <laughs> I feel like, you know, a government subcontractor here. Like, eh, that, that's close enough, right? I yeah, mean, I got the reference implementation work. right over there, but... Ah. Yeah. That should work. The redstone signal is a little weak over there, but the idea is... that when one of the observers hits, it should still trigger everything. So I need... Buckets of water. I need to make a mess, apparently. I need a hoop and some bone meal. Oh, I should probably get the hopper minecart going, too. And some dark oak, apparently. Alright, so let's do that there, that there. Our minecart with hopper. Give that a nudge. That seems to be running all right. All 
feels good so far. Oh. That means I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to need one more pumpkin seed. I've eaten melons. You get more than one seed from a slice. You get a lot more than one seed from a slice. I'm just saying. Alright, let's get those guys growing. I really don't feel like triggering every bit of redstone once they grow. That means I need seven observers and seven pistons. Grab some of that. We'll grab more of that. Uh, we'll need some more planks. I think that should be it. Two, three, four, five. Oh, what am I short? Planks. Six, seven. Seven pistons and seven observers. Now that piston's gonna go there, and there, and there. And this side's gonna go there. those in there for now. I should actually be done with that. Oops. Alright, I'll get my wrench out and turn those guys around later. Yeah, I really... Moyang, please put the redstone wrench in the game. We don't need full-on debug stick, but trying to figure out the weird geometry to get these guys to rotate around just the way you want is getting kind of special. Yeah, I tell you what, that wrench, that thing has come in handy. I've never had it before, <laughs> but I enjoy it. Yeah, it's probably one of the best data packs I ever found. And uh, that's from the Vanilla Tweaks website. Uh, they've got it on the Hermitcraft server, even though I haven't seen too many people use it for redstone. I've seen them use it for rotating glazed terracotta, which, which again, is another place that makes... <laughs> it, it is absolutely wonderful. Because trying to... Uh, trying to do anything with glazed terracotta is... Uh, we'll call it special. Special is as good a word as any for it. Alright, um... Well, it just goes to show how uh, how new I am to Minecraft and the fact that I have never really messed with glazed terracotta either, only in creative mode. Uh, well, glazed terracotta is relatively new. I, want, I can't remember if that was 1.13 or maybe it was 1.14. No, 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 it was 1.13 because we had that at the start of the Season Zero server. Um, but I mean, it's not, it hasn't been around that long. I remember getting confused because it used to be, um, uh, before it was terracotta, it was you know, hardened clay. So I'm still used to, you know, looking for hardened clay. Figuring out why I'm trying to. 
cook the uh, clay and get hardened clay. And it's, oh, no, no, no. It's terracotta now. <laughs> Fine. Let me get my grumpy old man. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have terracotta. All right, that's it. I think it's done. And we had to, we had to walk to the nether uphill both <laughs> ways in the snow, in the snow. <laughs> barefooted. Yeah. All right, we just need this thing to start producing some. Up, oh, <laughs> I say we just need to st need it to start producing some pumpkins, and we already got seven slices or some melons. We got seven slices. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Once we get enough melons, we can actually cover it like we did the pumpkin farm. Now I can take this hot mess of, uh... <laughs> this hot mess of tools and equipment and boxes galore and pack it back up because we're not that far into the season and I've already got uh, way too many boxes of stuff scattered hither and yon I almost feel bad about it Ooh. before I forget Actually put that one back. I can use this last one here to put a crafting table. As um, unfortunately, the melons only give you melon slices. They don't give you the full the full melon, which is kind of weird. No, not really. It works. I've got to get a higher efficiency on my pickaxe too. Every time it takes that long to break the ender chest, I start wondering if uh, something's about to go horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, I came real close to not using Soap Touch on the inner chest yesterday. <laughs> Oof. That's not good. Well, especially That's since the inner chest had everything in it that I needed. <laughs> and I was in the middle of... I went yeah. in there to get rockets. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I was that, pretty far from home. Yeah, the, the witch farm is... I wouldn't mind building a creeper farm in the community center just so we get the gunpowder, at least, that's a little bit closer. Uh, I'm tempted to build a uh, creeper-shaped creeper farm. I just have a giant creeper statue in the back somewhere that does nothing but produce uh, gunpowder. That would be pretty interesting. Um... Uh, the design I got in mind that would fit in the statue would be um, pretty but not efficient. And honestly, for a server as small as we are right now, that's that's not that big a deal. I mean, I like to complain about it, but that's because, you know, I like to complain about it. I'm not going to try to pretend that it's anything else. Wow, that went uh, that went quicker. I might have to AFK over here by the uh, melon farm so we can get it enough because it definitely looks like an eyesore. <laughs> At least until we get the uh, produce to produce. 
to say that. There's 36 slices right there. That's another four. What other? Yeah, we need, um... We need some of the... Do we need some of the protein farms in the community center? Because we, uh... The, we elevated the butcher to um, that great emerald city in the sky and put the shepherd in his place because he seemed a little more useful. Well, I have a very small, totally unethical... <laughs> I mean, I've got one of the entity cramming farms, so, you know, I'm, I'm the last person to talk about ethical or unethical when it comes to the farming of critters. Yeah, this is the the uh, beef cramming station. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure I built it wrong initially, and then I just built over oh. the top of it. So it's um doesn't produce like it should. I use a lot of wheat and don't get much in return. Don't get much beef in return? Beef or leather. But it's it's because I'm feeding cows that aren't being crammed. Ah. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get going, but uh once it finally once you finally hit about twenty twenty four cows in there, it does pick up pretty quick. Um, it's not quite as efficient as the farm I used in season zero. Where I'd come by with a looting sword and uh, manage it that way. On the other uh, hand, what's happening to me again? Good. Uh oh. I guess I hear a puppy. He's a cute puppy, though. All right. Let me do a quick harvest of the field over here. We got more in the back. And, uh... Mostly I'm killing time. While I got the, uh, the pumpkin farm loaded. <laughs> some, I keep mixing them up. While I got the melon farm loaded. So that, um... Uh, we can try to get a few more to do the decorations. And... One way or the other, when we hit a complete harvest of this, I'll probably head back to my base and start talking about some of the plans there. I've been looking at the uh, PLOTS website, uh, P-L-O-T-Z dot C-O dot U-K, something like that. And they've got some modeling designs for various... Oh, bother. A fun look, but... I keep accidentally converting, uh, <laughs> just like that, <laughs> just like that. But, uh, they, they've got modeling design, so if you're struggling to make circles or donuts or, uh, various and sundry different shapes, uh, it, it'll help you generate perfect circles and that sort of thing, and where I was planning on using it was they've got a lighthouse generator. So it gives you the kind of basic idea for if you want a lighthouse of those and so dimensions that are about such and such. Um, here's how to here's how to make that happen. And I am going to build a giant lighthouse over over by my base. I'm probably going to tear down the starter shack and put the lighthouse right on the beach where the starter shack is. And for that, I'm going to need to figure out what materials I want to use. I've got a creative testing world that I've got. Um, I've got loaded up. I was originally playing with something, anything to do with endstone, just because I haven't worked with that before. Um, but I haven't it's not looking right. I'm not happy with it. 
Um, I was originally thinking of doing Nether Quartz. Because that's another thing that I haven't worked with too much. Only because right up until the villager changes in 1.14, Nether Quartz was very, very... Di well, I guess 1.13 technically. Um, basically, when, once you got Nether Quartz as part of a trade, that's when, uh, that's, that's when things get a lot, a lot better. Or at least a lot more likely to go, hmm, maybe. Maybe I'll build something big out of quartz. But that is, uh, th those plans are still kind of up in the air. Well. Okay, I thought I saw something moving over there. You know how it goes. There's a creeper behind every shrub. But, um, yeah, I'm going to build a ginormous lighthouse on the island, and that lighthouse is going to have carrot farm, wheat farm, potato farm. Oh, dear. So, apparently... Yeah, so if you apparently. kill a ghast, uh -huh. if you kill a ghast, uh, oh wow, I spawned, your home you bed was missing or obstructed. Yep. Um, Arcadius should have left some boats on the, on the spawn island. If he didn't, I'm going to have to have words with him, but that's only because he died in a raid and his bed was destroyed, and so he ended up having to swim stroke by stroke from spawn island all the way back to uh to here you want to talk about somebody not pleased with life yeah this isn't good because i was all the way over by the portal in my mountain base well there'll be a grave there it'll have all your stuff at it yeah, this will take me about an hour way. to get to it. <laughs> uh, I hope you got some backup weapons or something like that, right? You got a holdout, uh, a holdout sword. Mm, all at my mountain base. All at your mountain base. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, but apparently, uh, pigmen don't like it when you kill gas because I killed a gas and all of a sudden every single one of them came after me. Are, are you sure it was that and you didn't accidentally hit, hit a pigman while trying to kill the ghast? Because I have done that no. before, too. Where No, because uh, I was using the bow and the ghast was pretty far away. You know, uh, well, that's where I've done it, is where I thought my aim was true. And uh, my aim lied. Oh yeah, uh, so I'm going to build a, uh, I'm going to build a ginormous lighthouse over by my island, and I'm going to try to put every farm I can in it. So I'm going to try to make sure that I have uh, carrot, sweet potato, beetroot, melons and pumpkins. Uh, going to try to also have... Uh, sugar cane in the farm if I can squeeze it in there and if I get kind of creative I think I can also get a creeper farm in there so that way the lighthouse will produce just about everything I need that's the plan uh, did I not replant that wheat? Need some of those I thought I did Okay. Be kind, replant. Oh, 
But that is the idea. I want to have everything that is farmable farmed over in there. I'm eventually going to have to get a decent mob dropper going too for the general mobs. I'd like to get a steady supply of arrows in too. I had that in Season Zero. Uh, matter of fact, the mob farm that I built in Season Zero was among the first builds that I did. Um, and I had originally intended to to follow some of the same trajectory on that count. Build that cheap mob dropper first, but I haven't done as much mining as I did in Season Zero. Um, matter of fact, I haven't done any mining. All this diamond gear was purchased from villagers. <laughs> I have not actually found a single diamond in the world yet. I, I got the little start of a mine shaft, and that, that's about it. Although honestly, with the with the villager trades, I'm not I'm not all that sure I really need to worry about it. Of course, I'm about to go trade all these veggies in for uh, emeralds when I get this done, too. Because I need to start enchanting up a full set of backup gear. That is something I don't have yet. It's on the agenda, though. Oop. Yeah, I think after that little incident right there... <laughs> when I have to make an entire set of uh, armor, go find me another elytra and some rocket. Yeah, you know, bury a yeah. little chest out there for us. Oh, set an ender chest up at the starter island? Yeah. Actually, that wouldn't be bad to have an ender chest over there. Just yeah, as a matter of fact, I have, the, uh, I have the eye at my base, so once I get there, I'll just make another ender chest and take it out there. <laughs> Yeah. I need to, re to return the boat, anyways. Uh, that that's why that's why I told Arcadius to set up a uh, a bunch of boats, just so that way as they accumulated back this way, we could you know ferry a box full later. Yeah, those those five in there. So I'm I'm gonna go okay. replenish it, but I'll put an inner chest out there too. Yeah, because I, I keep a couple of boats in my inner chest. I don't, I don't need them that often, but when I do, it's usually something I need like right now. They're really good for moving villagers around too, because those guys, I love what they do, but I hate trying to move them to where they gotta go. We need to get a trident farm going too. I think if we saw I it thought up I had I thought I had me a trident yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, but it turned out he didn't want to give it to me. He didn't want to share. No. Yeah, I haven't run into any of the trident wheel well, no, I think I've run into one or two doing my uh ship salvaging. Uh, now that I got a helmet with respiration, uh, I'm a little more keen to go adventuring in the ships. My biggest problem was I, I just get down there and I'm just almost out of almost out of air, and then I'd have a couple of uh, couple of drone coming after me. It's like, uh, come on, guys, can't you see I'm uh, looting here? I got salvage rights. I forgot if you run you run out of food you run out of food faster if you have no food that means you, you don't you can starve to death man running don't. through a dark oak forest oh hey village I wonder if there's any food over mm -hmm. there <laughs> I'm sure somebody won't mind eating their lunch Excuse me, sir. 
I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a potato today. Potatoes. Carrots. I. Let's see how many emeralds we can get out of those potatoes and carrots we just harvested. We didn't get nearly as many uh, melons as I was hoping. But I keep forgetting that. Well, it's not a slow farm, it's not the fastest either. So going through the chest of the village, I find a buried treasure map. Nice. Something tells me that's already been used. Why do you say that? And because in the next chest next to it was a jungle slab. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's This is all that's in these now. There's a jungle slab in one and a buried treasure map in the other. had four apples so that's nice apples are good apples can be good and a potato thank you that golden apples can be even better oh did you get your uh, did you get your nether portals linked up appropriately uh mine was linked up it's fine Okay. No, the I, one I at the one was meant. Go ahead. Yeah, the one at my um at my mountain retreat, it's working just fine. It's all okay. of the other portals. Okay. Uh, Arcadius said that his portal links to my mountain base portal, even though they're almost a thousand blocks away from each other. Um, that's because and, where the lava lake is. It, it didn't actually generate the portal in the right place. It generated it at the nearest safe spot, which is in between the two. Because um, nether portal generation is an amazing, astounding headache. Let's see, negative X, positive Z. Right, that way. Not that way. That way. Yeah, I was I was hoping to find more than four apples in a jungle slab in that village. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that was Arcadius. It it may have been, or it may have been me, because uh, I remember that village from when I came through the first time. Oh, okay. So you're probably the one who uh, possibly because I would have left the apples. Why would you have left the apples? Because at the time it wasn't the most important thing for me. Ah, uh, no, that's fair. Now, I, now I can tell you, I did not leave the treasure map in the uh, the jungle slab. Hey, another village. Let's check this one out. Oh, I know I've been to this one. Why is that? It's uh it's a jungle village and all the doors are open. Oh. Is the village still there? The village is here. None of the villagers are. <laughs> Cause that's usually what happens when you leave all the doors open. What, they don't know how to shut a door? Uh, you would think they do. 
They don't always. Oh, yep, there's no villagers here. Hmm. There's not even an iron golem. over to my base because uh time for a little landscaping this little island here i want to turn into a small manual tree farm shortly i was going to do that today but i got to double check a couple of dimensions because i need uh i'm gonna need lumber i'm half tempted to make the uh to make the lighthouse out of wood <laughs> Give it a stone brick base and make the make the tower itself out of wood. Although I suspect that's probably not going to look as good as I would like. Maybe I'll just make it out of diorite and granite. Mmm, diorite. <laughs> I, I'm not. You should as, just do the uh, whole thing out of diorite and birch. I'm not as antithetical to it as uh, some people are. You know, when I first started playing, I liked diorite until I started seeing actual other white blocks. Yeah, and now I really thought about I, I really thought about building it out of quartz, but I can't find the right material to do uh, to break up the color for the stripes. And Ooh, you know, now diorite is. Fine. The only thing yeah. that, that I find it looking good for, for me, is, like, dirty snow. <laughs> for dirty snow. Eh. No, that's what the yellow blocks are for. Uh, here I, I am being using... the big ping pong ball. Mm. Or pinball. Uh-oh. Trying to row a boat through a uh, swamp. <laughs> yeah, good luck with it. I hear a puppy. Oh, I guess he had to mute it for the puppy. All right, so yeah, those farms are gonna have to stay for now. But I want to automate all of those, all of those, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm gonna put the lighthouse over here. Originally, I was going to build that large manual crop farm where we marked off the these four corners here. But now that we got the villagers, now that we got the village people here. Okay, good. Nobody's traded with them yet. Okay, good. Now that we got the village people, I'm going to set up a villager breeder somewhere and get my own little private trading hall going. Just don't know where. I'm thinking of actually continuing to level some of this back. You, you can, if you pay attention to the background, you, you'll notice that uh, this bit of land started a little bit taller, and I want to level this down to where that ground is back in through about here ish I'm gonna use some of the dirt to uh, maybe fill in that bit of land or maybe I'll dig that trench deeper I haven't decided yet um, but there's definitely gonna be some landscaping going I just I need uh, I need storage I need somewhere to put that stuff until I can get storage there's gonna be a giant dock built between this bit of land here and the tree farm over there. There's going to be another bridge heading maybe that way, or maybe I'll build it off of that land there. And I want to get a houseboat for the bed and workstations, and then maybe make a uh, cargo container or something for the, uh, for the storage system build. Wouldn't mind setting up a uh, drown farm too. Oh, and a kelp farm. Kelp farm's coming. Kelp and bamboo. And I 
if I can do it right, I can get enough bamboo to fuel the kelp. I know you can do the zero tick chicanery to get more bamboo than you'd ever thought possible per second, but um, that's not really my style. Or at least this season I'm really trying to stay away from that kind of stuff. I'll probably end up using a TNT duplicator if I want to uh, prep some land for uh, a, a truly efficient farm. But uh, it's definitely, definitely one of those things that I'm not, I'm not running the carpet duplicator like I did in season zero. I'm not going to run the uh, rail duplicator like I did in season zero. I'm trying to stay away from those sorts of things for the large part. I mean, they'll end up being a couple of exceptions here and there, but again, mostly TNT duplicators for, uh, for like some of the farms and stuff. Because that tree farm, I, I, I know, <laughs> I know how quickly that's going to run through dynamite. I'm hearing chat from a certain someone. Arcadius? Do, do you have any dynamite? And then I'm going to get a look because I made the farm. And I'm trying to stay out of the middle of that one. I don't blame you on that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Before I forget, let me set, reset my spawn point over here. Yeah, probably the greatest feature in 1.15, the ability to just right-click a bed and set your spawn so you don't have to actually sleep there. And I know, and I didn't remember, I didn't realize that uh, 1.15.2 was coming out today. I knew it was coming out soon, but um, I'm going to leave the server on 1.15.1 for another week or so just to make sure that there aren't any um, weird issues that nobody knows about. Because I, I remember going through that once already with uh, the 1.14 series where you know, immediately updated a 1.14.2 to resolve such and such problem and such and such problem, only to find out that the villagers um, didn't respect the, uh, <laughs> the breeding mechanics and totally overpopulated my crop farm. And I'd rather not have that happen this go around. Or at least that's the plan. And I don't know... I know I've talked about some of the podcasts I listened to on stream before, but I don't know if I've mentioned uh, one of the shows that really caught my attention recently, just because it, it is a political podcast. It It is called Raise the Dead by Justin R. Young, and it's a limited short-form podcast. In other words, instead of being an endless series of everything, it is a six-part historical podcast on the 1960 election between Kennedy and Nixon and just going through a lot of the history of what happened in that election and I was surprised by quite a bit of it uh, it was very educational very fun uh, fair warning Justin is um Oh, how do I put it kindly? Rather over the top and exuberant in personality. You know, you, you got to start doing comedy and that sort of stuff. So uh, that that very, very much comes through in his presentation. So if treating serious subjects with a little bit of humor is going to be a problem, then I would not recommend it. If you're okay with that, if you enjoy that, then definitely check it out. He's uh, thinking about doing a sequel 
that covers uh, some of the interesting aspects of uh, Barry Goldwater in 64 and how some of the uh, we kind of haven't learned some of the lessons of the 1960 and 64 election because if we had certain things in the current landscape wouldn't be as big a surprise as they seem to be at least that's the uh, that's the thesis he's been working off of and so far that seems to be a fair fair thesis I missed one of those oak blocks didn't I all right they'll fall eventually but uh and if you didn't get a chance to listen to the podcast he's released the transcript as a Kindle book and he's trying to get the audiobook approved for Audible. In other words, he repackaged up all the podcasts as an audiobook with a bonus chapter. Um, it's just having trouble making its way through the Audible approval process. Uh, he ended up having to resubmit it because the book got lost somewhere. How, how a company like Amazon loses a digital book, I don't, I neither know nor want to know. But that is apparently what happened, so he resubmitted it, and we'll see when that happens. But uh, you can still get the episodes from the podcast feed. And again, that is definitely one of... Oh! Oh my. Or are they still mad at you, Medic? Yep, that was three baby zombies that were right in front soon as I poured oh. it in. Are they still mad about what happened the last time? Yep. Oof. That stinks. Did it's a good thing this somebody? time that... No, it's a good thing this time I actually... Oh, reset your spawn point? Reset, yeah, at, um, at base, so... Okay. I have a so full you... set of iron armor and some tools, some weapons, that kind of thing. That yeah. should be good. Should be good? Alright, let, let me know yeah. if you need some. Now, will they... Will there be two graves? Yes. Okay. And each as long as one, one of them have, doesn't uh, despawn. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, there might be a limit somewhere along the way, but honestly, uh, with the raids, we didn't... <laughs> we, we, If there was a limit, I would have thought we'd have run into it. Because <laughs> Because <laughs> we were definitely dying, uh, dying enough to hit that. And we didn't seem to run into anything there. Uh, the only problem we did run into, and I keep forgetting that I need to contact the uh, Vanilla Tweaks team, is we found we ran into the problem of if two people die close enough together at close enough to the same time, uh, one person's items can end up in another person's grave. So in other words, Arcadius and I were two blocks apart. I died, mm -hmm. and then two seconds later he died. Not, not even two seconds. And some of my stuff ended up in his grave. So he would have had to have picked up his grave and then handed me my stuff. Uh, question: Does Smite mm -hmm. work against Pigmen? Um, I believe so. If I remember right, they're technically undead. They're only mostly undead. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I believe that they, uh, because they are zombie pigmen, or, or zombie pigmen. Sorry, emphasis on the wrong syllable. Um, I believe the smite will work on them. Although it smite not. Smite not. You're bad. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I'm just happy your ass isn't here to complain about that one. Oh, I'm sitting over here getting ready to enchant my sword, and I realize that I have no levels because I just yeah, died again. You just died. You get right to the well, uh. You gonna run to the spider farm and get some levels up? 
No, 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 no. That's no? too far of a run for me to just do some levels. So I'm just going to keep going in here with swords until they die or they're no longer mad at me. Until you get it or you have 18 iron swords sitting over in the nether. Mm-hmm. I like the way they look, but trying to cut them down is such a pain. That is why I'm trying to use a... oh. It, it wouldn't be so bad if there were three of them in there. Have a minor swarm over there by you? Yeah, yeah, and I have no idea. I have to be in there for them for the for the counter to work for them to stop being mad at me. I think so. Yeah, so there there's I would say at least six or seven of them that I saw right there at the portal. I'm trying to get in and yeah, I'm trying to get in and block off everything real quick. I uh, I see. Do do you want some help? Hmm. Hmm. I can try to go dry you know, uh, pull them off or something. No, I'm no, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to kill them. <laughs> Want to take them all on? One of us you will know. win. Yes. Sad thing is, is I'm pretty sure that I had a set of fire protection gear, I hear but I can't bumps. find it. Ah. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh. Well, the fire protection chest, is not going to help you from the zombie pigman. No, uh, my, my... I've got the chest piece for the protection four, and okay. then the what I'm saying is I had uh, diamond armor. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I only have two of them. That's it, okay. It was the diamond part that I was missing. Out. Like, iron yeah. armor is going to be about the same. Protection or fire protect or fire protection or known. Let's take that bow. Let's make some iron. Rest of the iron armor I need. at work here lately too finished up uh, the most recent Econ Talk podcast which was a pretty good one 
on some lost literary works. Because apparently, uh, um, not every since not everything was published in high quality formats. There's a lot of books by authors like uh, Jane Austen and Dickens and so on that um, just never survived the the cheap publishing materials. They were designed to be, uh, you know, trash reading for while you're on the while you're on the train. You know, they're, they're supposed to be your binge read because stories were originally published as uh, serialized novels. So you're supposed to buy them in, you know, volume one, volume two. Ha! You get it? So far, I'm... I'm... Okay, 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 go. And, ha, ah, block that off. So let me grab that grave. Yeah. Yes. I almost want to turn fire tick back on just so I can burn these leaves and be done with it. But something tells me I will end up setting the mountainside on fire and that will not go the way I want. Bring that out so I can grab some wood so I can make a crafting table. Pop that down. Make some sticks. And then with the six and Stone, I make a stone pickaxe, and, and then I can break that block so I can pick up that grave. <laughs> Told you I was going stones, to get this. Bones. Yep, even though the words will never hurt me. How can I make a, let's see, never mind, let me figure this out. Go here. Take those. I think I've got enough oak saplings that uh, I can go ahead and start using them as a fuel source. All right, I don't think these guys are mad at me anymore. No? Because they're dead or they Don't. forgot? Or, or they killed you enough to make it? Yeah, I guess they killed me enough, but they're they're looking right at me and they're not mad. Oh, let me put all this stuff up and try <laughs> this. That's right, because you're working on that gold farm. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I was trying to work on. They're not oh, that allowing was the me to. Plan. <laughs> All right, let me bust you open. Still not coming at me. Bust you open. Still not coming at me. Look down, got all my other stuff. And yeah, block that back up. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yes. Got your uh, nether shelter now. Yes, so... Let's see, take you, you, drop you in the inner chest, go around here to the back, drop you, Make sure that's the silk touch. Pick up the inner chest, walk back through this portal, and then get myself resituated. Such as it is.
but at least I now have it set up to where the small pigmen can't get in there anymore. Oh, was that the was that the main problem? Yeah, that that was it. The big ones couldn't get to me, but the small ones, there was like five or six oh. small ones that literally were sitting right in front of the portal. So as soon as I came through, okay. they would all hit me at once. I was misunderstanding. I, I thought I didn't I didn't realize that it was a problem with the enclosure size. Yeah, I thought it was just that, that they got mad at you before you could get a chance to finish. I mean, it, the the enclosure size. Oh wow, my elytra needs repairing. Um, I haven't, that, that's just the entrance to my portal. I haven't actually done the, uh, gold farm yet. I've just been, oh. I've been trying to clear out a flat area. So all them guys would spawn, uh, really nicely. Oof. Yeah. That's all I've been working on or trying I, to I thought you already on. start. Yeah. I thought you'd already started on the farm. I'm trying to get mm -hmm. some landscaping done over here. I can start uh, building a little bit more on this side. That and I'm going to need lumber for uh, the next couple of projects. Like All right, I have boxes. I need boxes. I've definitely got to mine some more diamonds so I can make another whole set of gear. Because that was ridiculous. Buy your gear off of the uh, buy your gear off the villagers. Even if they don't give you the enchantments you want, you can always use the grindstone to, you know, disenchant it and put what you want on it. Ah, true. I didn't think about that. And I need to repair right. some stuff anyway, so I'm going to be heading over there here in a little bit to do some spider killing. <laughs> yeah, because I I have not found a single diamond, but I haven't done much in the way of mining either. Yeah, I was about to say, you don't mind. It's not so much that I don't. I just I haven't had the chance this go around. Not like I have in the past. Of course, when we started, uh, when we started Season Zero... Hmm. Ooh, I wonder what's in that cave. Okay, uh, sorry, just arguing. Um, when I started, <laughs> when we started Season Zero, I wasn't live streaming. We were just playing in the early game so I had plenty of time you know the time that I would have that I've been spending now putting games revisited together and uh, prepping for live streams well except for today today was not as well prepped as uh, I would have liked but uh, there, there's a lot more the a lot more to do before I get started so a lot less yeah, I did find that jumping on and mining I did find that pretty funny where, uh, you know, I, I text you two hours before stream. Hey, what are we working on today? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I had meant to get a little bit more done over the weekend and it didn't happen. It so didn't happen. And I feel kind of bad about that because I, that's an ep I missed an episode and I'm trying to get a good, good habit going. So I'll pick it back up here uh, soon. I get another one out on Monday. But my my biggest problem is, is I need resources, and it takes time to accumulate resources. Mm-hmm. It's kind of where I'm sitting at right now with uh, my little base here. I've got a lot of work, just or a lot of resources that I need to to get just to uh, get to the point where I can start building stuff here. Yeah, because I haven't I haven't done any mining in I'd say probably about two weeks. Really? Yeah. I, you know, just just so you, just kind of let you or give you an idea. I have three cobblestone blocks to my name. Oh. Yep, three cobblestone got... blocks. I've got uh, some, but mostly stuff that I uh, pillaged out, out of the community center. Yeah, now I do have some cobblestone and stuff in my 
inner chest, but that's because I took it from the community center to go work on the gold mine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go fix this elytra. Yeah, fix it now before you find out the hard way you forgot. I am noticing that I... Uh, I don't know if maybe it's because I'm using stuff more, but I'm noticing durability is a, a factor too here lately. I'll tell you what... Um... I'm using the stage one rockets, the flight yeah. durability one. I'm thinking of and stepping up to at least two. Well, if I'm really, if I'm really careful, it'll take me one to two rockets to get uh, to get from my base to the community center. However, to get anywhere else. Well, one thing that I've I've noticed, and it's already happened times talking to you is uh it's like i hit a brick wall in the middle of flight and i just um, stop yeah that that's more that's more server thing that that's not uh that's not necessarily the flight something weird's going on with the server and i haven't quite figured out what um so don't don't go thinking that that's you Yet. Yeah, because I'm burning through rockets. I mean, it, it takes almost 10 rockets. If I'm lucky, it only takes 10 rockets to get back to community center from my base. Hmm. And there it went again. Yeah, it did it to me too while I was flying out here. Yeah, I don't know if we need to provision more memory on the server or uh, or what the deal is with that. Because right now, you know, if we were at if we were at the point that I noticed it in season zero, then I would have assumed that it was just you know one of the some redstone machines lagging stuff out. But we don't. We don't have enough redstone machines to be causing that yet. Mm -mm. I mean, unless Arcadius went ham with uh, hoppers somewhere. I thought it might have been Not my chicken enough. farm because I'm doing the entity cramming chicken farm. And I shut that down and it didn't go away. Okay. Um, Alright, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. No mega farms of doom just yet. Let's stop for a Maybe. minute. Give me time. Let the game catch up. Although, on the other hand, Arcadius's witch farm doesn't have an on-off switch for the um, redstone yet. Um, I'm probably going to go back and set that up in a little bit. Probably uh, this coming week. Just because it would be nice to have a way to turn it on and off. But on the other hand, nobody's over there, so... Yeah, work yeah it shouldn't be working. On. So it shouldn't be running. That area should be unloaded. Should be. Yeah, it's funny that I started mentioning the whole uh, hitting a brick wall thing because now it's happened more times in this flight back to base than it's ever happened. I've burned through 22 rockets already. Oh, yeah. No, I get it. I don't get what's happening, but I get the problem. Here, Elytra in hand. Let's go. <laughs> Where the 
the spiders go. Yeah, I might try to fix that, uh... <laughs> I might try to fix where the spiders gather to. And maybe change up uh, a little bit of the layout so they don't quite reach as far out. I think he's missing a row of trapdoors. That would make that slightly less deadly. Actually, I think what it is is that he brought the trapdoors out instead of... Uh, um, well, no, that's what I'm saying. There should be a row of trapdoors behind the ones that are there right now. Right. Um, yeah. But I'll probably come through with, uh, since we got the iron farm going again, I'll probably come through with some iron trapdoors. That way you can't accidentally open them. But I wouldn't mind putting some hoppers under there, so that way instead of stuff collecting on the lip and being inaccessible unless you wanted to risk life and limb, <laughs> it would actually collect them up. And then maybe build a proper storage system under there too. Well, I will say that <laughs> Completely him and I overflow were going through... Through, well, him and I were going through a lot to get this thing going. Yeah. And I know... It, at one point, it was just a matter of let's just get it, shut up and you know do it yeah, because let's get it working. We were both getting frustrated. Oh yeah, no, I yeah, I totally get that one, especially with uh, cave spiders. Mm-hmm. Because those guys are mean. Yeah, I gotta get my storage system put together too, but um, I'm definitely going automatic storage this, this season. I ain't messing with the manual storage like I did last go around. I got too comfy with it and never bothered changing and spend half my time trying to put stuff away in the right place so I can find it later. I, I just want an input chest that I can just drop everything in and call it done. Yeah, I built one uh, before, and they're not hard to build. They are a um, little they resource, are resource intensive. intensive. <laughs> yeah, they are resource intensive. Um, but now that we resolved how we're going to handle the the nether stuff, I, I feel a little more empowered to go go hunting for uh, quartz, so I can make all the comparators that would need to happen for that. I just got to figure out how detailed I want it to go. Um, one of the Psycraft guys, I forget who it was, actually has a sorting system put together so that way you can store multiple items in the same box. Because I really don't want to have 872 boxes because there's so many different items. You know, I wouldn't mind being able to put like uh, birch planks and logs in the same box. Yeah, now see, the, the storage system that I set up, um, really the only things that were being so, uh, automatically sorted was the main blocks. Um, yeah. You know, I would I would dump 50 stacks of cobblestone in there or something like that. Any of the specialty blocks that I made, you know, like wooden stairs or something like that, I would separate out myself. Yeah. No, I, I want to be lazy. I just want to be able to, you know, like, toss my project shulker box onto an input and go AFK until it sorts itself out. <laughs> Literally. That's the goal of this go around. It's just figuring out just how I want to manage things. How detailed do I want to go? How resource intensive do I want to go? Yeah, that's the key right there. And actually, I'd already determined that um, the 
storage system that I built in that uh, pyramid that one time that I showed you is the storage system I'm going to build again. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went ahead and harvested a bunch of ice. Uh, I think it was yesterday I harvested a bunch of ice uh, to hold for that that particular build. Now that's something that I'm missing. I gotta I gotta get an ice tray set up somewhere. It was kind of easy on season zero because I, I was in an, on the top of a mountain, so there was a legit, <laughs> naturally occurring ice tray right outside my back door. Well, there's ice right there at uh at our yeah, spot by Arcadius's and, uh, place, where where he's got that well, uh, igloo. No, 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 no! I'm talking about uh, yeah. actual blocks of ice. Yeah. Like the packed ice in the um oh oh yeah no, because that, that's what, that's what i went and got I, I went and got a i think i have almost a shulker box full of packed ice really from where or maybe not packed ice oh, it's oh, the one oh, that from the, the, uh, uh, glaciers from the made ice pikes yeah the glaciers yeah yeah i thought about that because they're at least nearby enough I guess we're not going to be over there enough to be too wary of pillaging them. Um, but I didn't take any from our sp uh, starting spawn. Ah, there's a, a uh, further back. Yeah, there, there's one. There's another set of glaciers that are near my and Arcadius's homes. Uh, which incidentally is not too far from you're not that far from me either you're only you're about a thousand blocks south and Arcadius is about a thousand blocks west so yeah yeah now now that we got uh now that we got the elytra and whatnot I might do a little bit more exploring too because uh trying to make the trek on foot was not uh, I wasn't I wasn't feeling that <laughs> No, I just had to do it again. It wasn't fun. And once I get my tools mended back up, I'm going to uh, make a bunch of boats and take them back out there. Yeah. Replace what I took. Uh, maybe I'll put some food out there and, you know, Ooh, set up. We don't, have a, we don't have a villager that does uh, fortune yet, do we? I thought we did. Did we? Maybe it's looting, but I thought I thought we had a Fortune Two villager. Hmm. Let's see. He's got Silk Touch, Luck of the Sea, Punch. Efficiency. Quant I and F. Huh? Oh, Affinity. No. <laughs> Somebody put Aqua Infinity. Protection three, sweeping edge, fire protection. Of course, a lot of these guys aren't leveled all the way up yet either. Ooh, he sells glass. Good, because I'm going to need the, that too. Uh, this, yeah, this guy's got looting, which I do have okay. on my sword already. This guy mending twice over, and curse of vanishing. No protection four guys got piercing and smite. That smite come in handy. Sharpness and piercing. Respiration and ooh, efficiency. And fire. All right, Elytra is fully nice. healed. Breaking, respiration, and sweeping edge, protection. Yeah. We got looting, but not efficiency. Or not, uh... You know what I mean. Yeah, not fortune. 
The fortune, yeah. Although, again, some of these guys aren't leveled up completely either, so that might change things too. Or we just go running around the end until we find one that magically has it on it. So I need to get, uh, I need to get three maxed out for, uh, fortune books. I can set up a uh, an axe, a pick, and a shovel. So I think I found a way of being able to get all that loot from underneath without uh, getting hit. Yeah. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, I, I actually... Person? Um, no, there's I, a flaming I, um... baby zombie on a chicken coming after me. Oh, baby zombies. I put trap doors directly under the trap doors. So we oh. have trap doors on our trap doors, and uh, spiders oh, don't seem like to be doors. able to. Yeah, spiders don't seem to be able to hit me through it, and huh. the loot okay. still comes through. Okay. That's the important part. Can we safely get the loot? Oh, I'm going to have to light up that cave before I do too much else. There's too many critters over there looking at me funny. Definitely gonna have to put a big seaside mansion or something over here in this area. I'm clearing out. Maybe make that the uh, villager spawning area or the uh, villager breeder. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Seaside mansion. Mm hmm. Oh, 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 geez. Go away. everything that's going to come chasing me out of the cave at least. I will eventually need to go caving in here. It looks like there's some good resources. Especially some gravel deposits. I'm going to need those. I think I might do right, some am, building with concrete this go round. I'm here in puppy again. I need to, I'll be right back. Okay. Huskies are vocal. <laughs> they let you know when they are displeased, when they're happy, when they're not happy, everything in between. Hmm. I think I might 
paper over that hole with a couple layers of dirt. Did I already come through here? I started to. they live. Which one was the one with Rowdy Roddy Piper? I want to say that was they live. Hi. Let's see, we got my friend over here. I have over here to cover the uh, farm it get it done a little bit quicker at least until I can get my own farm back up and running or let me rephrase that an automatic farm up and running Silk touch is nice but I'd rather have a fortune when I go harvesting a manual farm Alright, let's put these down and see how far that gets us, and then I might close the stream off a little early. Because it's mostly going to be more of the mindless landscaping and that kind of thing. And, uh... That's not quite making for the kind of, uh, entertainment I was looking to do. At least not today. Plus, I'm still feeling a little the. That's part of why, uh... That's part of why I didn't get as much done this weekend as I normally do. Or at least as I try to do. Just got a feeling a little, a little less than something. That design that I kind of botched a little bit is, it comes from that same mumbo jumbo video that I built this uh, pumpkin farm off of. Uh, the only addition is that on off switch that I have up there and I made this one a little bit longer than the, than this one here. So there's one more stem in there producing, uh, producing crops. Whether or not that makes a difference that makes a difference I'm not entirely sure. But um Eh, we'll go with it. By the way, since we turned this thing back on, I know Reyes has been pillaging this for uh, iron to trade with our villagers. We got three and a bit. These are the seeds I tossed in there. I was hoping they'd burn in the fire, but... Yeah, three. 
three and a third double chests. That's still not that bad. That's also not counting the iron that's in the uh, hoppers back there, which for some odd reason Arcadius cleared out uh, just the just the iron from the back hoppers there. But um, yeah, I think he didn't want you to see that he. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I, I I don't know why. I wish you could compost feathers too. I, I tend not. I don't know. The chicken farm accumulates so many, and, and you only need but so much. Unless the Fletcher buys them. I might need to get a Fletcher and uh, level them up to see. I just dipped them to my private melon supply to get a little bit more of the facade put together. So it's looking a little closer to complete. Yeah, maybe I'll AFK tonight and while I'm at work tomorrow. And then come in and try to finish up the facade tomorrow. Except I keep putting a lot of stuff off till tomorrow. And I still got to do my prep for uh, Games Revisited. We're still going through Chrono Trigger. And I got a suggestion from a viewer that I'd like to try out. I just got to make sure that it doesn't uh, trigger any story events early. So I'm trying to make sure all the story events happen on screen. You know, some of the level grinding and that kind of stuff I'll do ahead of time, no problem. But um, I want to make sure that everything that is story related happens live, as it were. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so Arcadius and I had lunch today. Oh? And, yeah, uh, during lunch, I brought up the, uh, brought up something to him that, uh, that have him pass on to, uh, you and Reyes about okay. moving to New Zealand and starting a gaming communal <laughs> down there. Hey, I'm game. No snakes. Average temperature between 50 degrees you're lucky hey, around. They barbecue just like the Australians do, so, you know. You had me at barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, uh, I'm not the, the biggest big fan of shrimp, so board. I don't know how well prawns are going to go down, but, you know, I'll give it a try. Yeah, getting Reyes on board will be the uh, the hard part. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> the odds ever be in your favor. Did I miss a log somewhere? I don't know. It's falling apart. So I went from, I, I, I got rid of the, uh, well, I traded my really nice mechanical keyboard to my youngest son for his not so nice uh, non-mechanical keyboard. And I moved the mic away from my face a little bit more. I'm hoping that a lot of the extraneous sounds that were showing up in your videos from me are now gone. Um. Yeah, most of the extra I can still hear the keyboard, but um, I, I think uh, off camera we'll go through how to set up voice meter, and that'll let you put a noise gate in. Because uh, I've had to set one up, uh, not too aggressive, but just enough. Because I I do like clicky keyboards, and according to Ray Aston Arcadius, I type like uh, it's World War II happening and the bombs are falling. <laughs> like every time I type more than two letters why are you angry I'm not angry I'm just typing <laughs> like we have this conversation every time I, I am heavy handed well that's yeah the old key or the keyboard I had you can tap it and it sounds like you just beat it with a sledgehammer <laughs> Yes, and I like those keyboards, too. It's how you know that, you know, it actually took what you typed. Because I, I, I got 
so frustrated with a lot of the laptop keyboards over the years that you know the key the key throw is so short and the key press is so soft that you don't actually you know you tap the key but you don't know if you tapped it hard enough for it to register so mm-hmm. did it not type because there's a problem with the with the keyboard or did it not type because there, there's a problem with the computer and so I, I tend towards the uh, the clicky keyboards I'm borrowing Arcadius's Alienware keyboard because I accidentally uh, spilt a drink on uh, my Microsoft ergonomic keyboard that served notably for many years. It, it was probably close to its last leg anyway. They they don't they only last but maybe maybe six or eight years with me anyway. I was already starting to lose letters on the keyboard. <laughs> Last time Rhea sat down to borrow my computer, she's like, where's the A and the S key? Where they always are. Down by Java. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, Java was in so, heaven today, too. Oh, I bet he was. He was sitting down by my feet during lunch, <laughs> and uh, the waitress came over. <laughs> she said, oh, uh... I see you have the. Uh, I see you have your dog. Uh, would Would you like some carrots? <laughs> oh, <laughs> as soon the as that word c right word, here. yeah, as soon as the that's c the, word was said, ears perked up, the, head on the lap. Oh yeah, sad eyes set to maximum. So he, he had basically a whole carrot that was cut up. He got to eat throughout the the meal. Oh, so he wouldn't wolf it all down in one fell swoop? Pretty much. That puppy. I've got so much landscaping I'm trying to do. Actually, let me go make a couple of boxes now and get those over on the other island for the moment. Touch pick is almost completely healed. Nice. Yeah, all my armor's healed, Lytra's healed, almost got the soap touch pick healed, and then I'll have to heal my shovel and my axe, and then I should be good. and I swear it doesn't look like I've done a bit. Got a lot more to go. I, I think I'll... Yeah, I'll have to do that off-screen. Let me uh, grab some more pumpkins for the farm, or some more melons for the farm. Knock those in place, and then I'll uh, I'll probably call it a... call it a stream. I think I've worn the spider farm out. It's oh, there we go. I say it wasn't producing <laughs> spiders. Oh no! Give it just a minute. It'll get you more spiders than you ever wanted. Well, I am noticing a lot of lag. I'm noticing fits and spurts. 
All right, so we got the front, the back, the side, and the top done. So we've almost got a melon around our melon. And I triggered the zombies. So we got a nice little mini melon and pumpkin farm. They uh, they should be enough to get us started for a little while, at least until I can gather the resources to uh, get something a little bit better. So this is where I move things over to the credits, and I say thank you for joining along. Hope you enjoyed the show. A little bit more meandering than usual, so I usually have a little, a little tighter focus and a bigger project in mind. Uh, so tune in next week. Tuesday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And I do upload all the streaming replays to YouTube. Do follow the channel. It helps out. There's a link to the YouTube channel in the des channel description below. And if you're already watching on YouTube, congratulations, you found your way. If you want to watch live, there's links to Twitch and Mixer, where I simulcast to both. So choose your favorite service. And uh, with all that said and done, have fun. Enjoy. Enjoy.